Oh, thanks, Danny. I appreciate that. So listen, when the blanket moved, I could see you have some cuts on your legs. Did it happen today? My research program for the last couple of years has been around looking at how police services and officers respond to mental health calls and specifically mental health crisis calls for service. As a researcher at Laurier and working with other academic institutions like my colleagues at Ryerson and University of Victoria, we really knew that it was important to bring in community members to inform the work. And so we're really wanting to focus in on you know, co-production and co-design of the training programs that we create and the evaluation assessments that we create. The DEPICT stands for De-Escalating Persons in Crisis Competencies Tool. And this was an early invention or creation that, that we developed knowing that there was a real absence in assessment tools for evaluating how police officers are de-escalate situations and use relational policing techniques. To be involved with the development from its grassroots really ensures that you end up with a product that will be practical, will be useful, and is something that's going to fit with existing processes and that officers are actually going to be able to use. One of the biggest issues with police training in the realm of de-escalation is there's very little evidence that demonstrates what fundamentally is effective and not. One of the most encouraging things of, of this training is that it's yielded some evidence for its efficacy, which is very unique in the field. Another way that we include voices of people with lived experience of mental illness is in the creation of authentic mental health crisis scenarios and we build those so that police services have an opportunity to rehearse in de-escalation and practice uh, relational policing skill sets with scenarios that really authentically portray what a mental health crisis might look like. Make sure you're doing all right and we're gonna we're gonna get you some help okay Jamie. For now we're here and we got everything under control. My thesis project focuses on looking at empathy formation in police officers who are undergoing a training for mental health crisis response. Getting to participate in research definitely enhances my university experience. It allows you to take your learning from your courses and apply that to something that's more tangible, something that you can see the result of and the outcome. I've had my expectations exceeded with this sort of mentorship. We've had the opportunity to build a partnership with Lumetto Dark Slope. Basically what we do at Lumetto is we create virtual immersive simulation centers. It's all in a VR headset, so a low cost headset that you, and you can access this virtual simulation center from anywhere. Hey, hey, I'm Johnny. I'm with the Toronto Police. How are you doing today? You Stupid okay? kids. And it's also something it has a lot of similarities to a sim center. Like you could have a live instructor in there with you, you could have other students in there with you, uh, but you could be doing it remote. It really was a whole realm of possibility that opened up that I never considered. Then brings us to a place where we're getting the products of that research into the hands of people who can use it. That's really the exciting part about working with an industry partner is, is the ability to translate research into action.